Heat waves are Australia's deadliest natural disaster. They've killed more people than fires, floods and cyclones combined. But have you ever wondered where heat waves come from? Well, they come from here, the Central Australian Desert. The reason the outback is so hot and dry is because of a big high pressure system which often sits over us. To understand more, you really have to go up. <laughs> you can't see it, but I am surrounded by a high pressure system. It's very dry and there's not a lot of wind, so the temperature just builds and builds. Now in Australia, the weather moves from the west to the east. So if I was able to stay up here for a couple of days, eventually I'd end up over southern or eastern Australia. High pressure systems spin across Australia all the time, pushing warm, dry air from the centre out towards the coast. But there isn't a heat wave every week. A few things have to happen to really up the temperature. If there's a drought in the centre, the air coming down will be extra hot. If a system stalls, then it can pull more air down for longer, making the heat wave worse. Or, if there's a cyclone over the northwest of Western Australia, it can push heat into the upper atmosphere, which is then sucked down over Central Australia, adding to the hot mix. And if these separate elements join up, you could be looking at a much more intense heat wave. A heat wave that hit Melbourne and Adelaide in 2009 killed over 400 people. Well, heat waves are so dangerous because people are often caught unawares when, when they do it. They'll go out in a day when they can usually get away with something and when it's really hot, their normal activities can lead to being overheated. You're particularly vulnerable at the extremes of age, so the very, very young and the elderly are more particularly at risk of getting heat stroke. Uh, but anyone susceptible, anyone, and that's why it's a problem. Out here in Alice, 40 degrees is just another summer's day. But down in Tassie, a couple of days over 30 can be enough to be dangerous. It's all about what you're used to. So keep an eye on your local forecast. And the next time there's a heat wave on the way, take it easy in the sun and keep an eye out for your elderly neighbours and relatives. Perhaps go for a swim.